autonomous ai agents are on the rise today we are going to learn about how two ai agents can communicate with each other using a new framework called role playing the framework called role playing is going to help both the ai agents communicate with each other and achieve the target or the goal that human beings have set for them this is a new framework and they have also released this as a library which you can access using free google collab so as part of this video we are going to learn about role playing or this entire concept called camel communicative agents for mind exploration of large scale language model society and we are going to then look at some of the examples then finally we are going to run the code by ourselves on google collab notebook stick to till the end of the video so that you can see everything all together so to start with i would like to take you to the model page itself it's called camel communicative agents for mind exploration of large scale language model society the idea here is that what if you can have an autonomous ai system that can communicate with each other so you have got communicative agents who provide insight to the other agent if you have watched the movie tenant there is a concept called pincer movement and what happens is that you would have two different teams a red team and a blue team they would travel in the opposite direction in time and they would try to communicate to each other while it is not exactly the same happening here so here it is the same direction but you have got two different roles we have got two different agents playing two different roles who can help one of the agents to achieve the target that is set by the human being let's look at an example the example here is develop a trading bot for the stock market this is an idea that the human being has given to the ai society or the system or the camel system now there are two ai agents that are created the first ai agent is a python programmer and the second ai agent is a stock trader so you have got an ai assistant and you have got an ai user so now once the human sets all these attributes the task is created the task here is develop a trading bot with a sentiment analysis tool that can monitor social media platforms for positive or negative comments about a particular stock and execute trades based on the sentiment analysis result now this instruction is given to the ai user and the ai assistant now what the ai user here the domain expert the stock trader is going to do is is going to set create the instructions and the ai assistant the programmer is going to come up with the solution then again the ai user is going to come up with the instruction then again the ai assistant in this case a python programmer is going to come up with the solution so this is going to happen iteratively ultimately you're going to have a complete code for a stock market trading bot and you can run it using python code this is super impressive and instead of me saying it is super impressive i would like to take you to the demo page you can click this link agents app and reach this gradio application where they've got the demo now what is this interface so you've got an example assistant role and you have got an example user role like we discussed there are two agents one is an assistant the second is a user so you can go and set the assistant role and you can set the user role as well and you have multiple roles you can have, it can be a blogger chef consultant developer entrepreneur filmmaker influencer whatever you want to do you can do it i'm going to set this as a let's say influencer that's probably better so we have a python programmer we have an influencer and we have to give a preliminary idea so i'm going to say develop a python program to write social media content okay so i'm going to just simply say develop a python program to write social media content and the number of messages that we want to generate is 10 let's stick to 10 and the make agents chat it takes time we don't want this to happen if you want to insert a universal task you can insert it here and if you want something else um you can you know if you this is the place where the specified task prompt is going to get generated let's click this thing you can see that it says just a random one help me do my job we don't want that i'm going to again go select one of the things that they've given here so blogger and i'm going to select select universal task 
help me do my job so let's let's stick to help me do my job and then i'm going to send the message make agents chat so as you know it's going to take a little bit of time so the specified task here is develop a python program that automates the process of fetching and posting news articles on the my blog platform the program should scrape news from reputable sources and categorize the articles and auto publish them to my blog basically you are building a bot that can do plagiarism so now you can see that the bots have started chatting the instruction started like this the ai user came up with this instruction install the necessary libraries and then it says it came up with a solution then again the ai user came up with an instruction and then it's going to give the solution then again an instruction then we have got a solution instruction solution instruction solution and we ended with the final function because we have specified that we want 10 messages super impressive like how you can have like if you have if you have been familiar with gans the same thing used to happen in gans almost like you have got two new neural networks one neural network was supposed to create something the other neural network was to cheat something so this is a very simplified version of gans this is all before stable diffusion it almost feels like now what we are trying to do here is with ai agents so one ai agent is going to give instructions the other ai agent is going to complete the task while maintaining the consistency with human intentions i think that's the that's a part here that i absolutely love because they are not ran randomly doing anything but they are trying to stick to that human intention uh, intention the initial prompt that human beings gave and uh, what the authors of the paper are claiming is that that this includes introducing a novel communicative agent framework offering a scalable approach scalable approach for studying the cooperative behaviors and capabilities of multi agent system and open sourcing library so it's we are not going to talk about only one ai i think this has been the series that we have been exploring in the recent time this is not a single ai solution anymore it's about ai part of a system now in this case ai with another ai where one is a user the other one is an assistant and that role playing is what we are talking about so before we end this video i would like to take you to the google collab notebook that they have given which you can use and directly run the code if you don't want to use google collab notebook all you have to do is you have to install the camel library from uh, the source either from github or conda and then you can run the code by yourself role underscore playing dot py but if you don't want to take the pain all you have to do is click the google collab notebook go to the google collab notebook and start running everything so the first thing is clone the repository install the content once you have cloned the repository and install the content then you have to import os and import open ai this is going to help you set the api key right now i'm showing the api key i'm going to disable it after the video is published or before the video is published never share your api key with anybody if you want to add your api key as an environment variable which is one of the most preferred way of using api key instead of hard coding what i have done here is called hard coding don't hard code uh, the better way is to actually add it to your open ai environment variable so do this thing after you have done this thing then the next step is run this code this is just to add some colors when it prints text and then you can call from camel dot agent import role playing and once you do this thing the next thing that you need to do is you need to set a task prompt you need to give a task here what is the task here design a simple web application using gradio so this is something that i tried before making this video and then you have to set the role so who is this who is this you need two roles one would be the task executor the other one would be the task user the ai user so you have got computer programmer and the gamer in itself then you create the specified task based on this and uh, finally you are going to see the role play happening between the ai user and the ai assistant so you're going to see between the ai user and the ai assistant to show you the ai user came up with the instruction then the ai assistant came up with a solution so i'm going to do it in the real time i'm going to start with a very simple um, message design design a let's say image classification app using gradio so the first one is a computer programmer the second one is a machine learning engineer 
So we have got a computer programmer and a machine learning engineer communicating with each other while the computer programmer, in fact, I should say Python programmer, trying to design an image, design an image classification app using Gradio. Uh, everything is ready. I'm going to just run this code. Once I run this code, you will start seeing the original task prompt, design an image classification app using Gradio. Develop a Python code for an image classification app using Gradio that can identify different species of birds found in a specific geographic location. Okay, it has got enough details. The first instruction that the AI user has given is install Gradio and AI assistant has said, okay, Gradio can be installed using this and the assistant has come up with the code also, pip install Gradio, very good. Then the next thing is we need these three libraries, Gradio, TensorFlow, Keras, and once you have those things, then you need to import these libraries from TensorFlow, import Keras. I don't think that's how you import Keras, is that? I'm not sure. Yeah, but then the next solution is create the model, which is Inception V3, and then download the pre-trained weights. Now it's going to give you the code for that. And this goes on and on until the final task of developing a Gradio application that can do image classification is done. I don't want to show you the entire thing. I don't want you to wait until the end what is happening. Definitely it's not going to be the most perfect solution um, because there could be something that is missing, but I think it is quite an impressive achievement what they are talking about here. The authors in fact are calling this a large scale language model society. I think they didn't want to call it an AI society. So they're calling it large scale model, large scale language model society. But you can actually see in the GitHub repository, they have something called AI society. And when you try to visualize, you can actually see the kind of instructions that were given to them. So click that and then you can see what kind of instructions were given to them. Okay, social media campaign, choose music for an event, language translation, can you provide something? So you can, you can see the roles and you can see the instructions all over this visualization. It's quite interesting what kind of visualization, what kind of instructions people were giving. And with that, I would like to end this video by showing the output of where it is. Now it is going to define a function to create a Gradio interface. And you can see it's actually creating a Gradio interface function. It's going quite good. I, I should say like um, having published a Gradio tutorial and having published a lot of videos on Gradio, I can very well say that this is doing a great job in terms of creating an AI solution or an autonomous AI system camel that can talk to each other in the AI society. So yeah, finally we, we have le reached a position where we can run the Gradio application in itself. So we have the Gradio interface will launch in a new uh, browser window. The user can upload an image and uh, yes, so this actually takes us to the end because we wanted it to create the EA image classification app using Gradio and it has almost succeeded in the task and it's, it's, so it's also actually writing test cases. So that's amazing. I don't want to wait you, um, make you wait till the end, but this is quite an impressive demo. I would link the GitHub repository, the paper, their uh, sample application, and also the Google Collab notebook that I was running. And all you need is an open AI key for you to run this and then see the amazing demo by yourself and start using this AI system for anything that you're building. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning about a new AI society and a, a bunch of agents cooperating together. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.